There's more evidence today that the United States is going through a recession right now. Growth numbers for May to September show the U.S. economy shrank. Even more concerning, consumer spending is way down. Now, what does all of that mean for Canada? Ron Charles reports. At this small internet startup company, they take mind-clearing ping-pong breaks from their long days. The company itself has been whacked around a little by investors. They pulled the plug on financing when the credit crunch hit. Now it's likely the U.S., home to 70% of the company's customers, seems to already be in a recession. You have to really watch your dollars. So we had to make some tough decisions too. And we're not going to lay any people off, but in terms of, you know, we were going to hire so many people at this date, at this date, we will be very closely watching our numbers. The numbers out of the U.S. show the economy there shrinking slightly in the May to September period. They also show U.S. consumers pulled way back on spending, evidenced by comments outside of this Washington, D.C. Macy's store. I used to be in here every day on my lunch hour. I, as you could see, I was walking past. I wasn't going in there at all. Uh, less travel, less vacation, um, uh, uh, less shopping. None of it good news for Canada. Well, the U.S. is our largest trading partner. 40% of our economy is directly related to trade. Car sales are plunging, consumers are retrenching. That's going to affect Canada as well. Still, back at the Toronto Internet startup, they are confident. They make web-based programs used by nonprofit organizations to sign up members, a cheaper alternative to software that can cost thousands of dollars. They're hoping that gives them an edge with customers already squeezed for cash themselves. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.